welcome, welcome everyone to the God in the Midst radio broadcast, the Friday Night Lights edition. I am your host, Pastor Mark McCoy of New Harvest E Church in Harvest, Alabama, along with my co-host, Pastor Paul McCoy. Um, we are live on Facebook and we are live on the air right now. Um, I'm going to ask uh, Sister Sandra to come in and, and just sing a song. Um, I'm going hit, to hit her button so she can come on in. Hallelujah. Hey, All sweetheart. Right. How you doing? All right. Let you lead us All in right. a song. Hello, everybody. All right. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Sister Sandra singing. Um, I don't know how well it's coming over on the uh, internet, on Facebook, um, but I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are also on the conference call. If you want to dial into the conference call, then have a prayer request or get prayer or get a word from God personally for you, you can uh, dial in to 619-639-4733. Again, 619-639-4733. Welcome, everybody. The word for the night is going to come from Psalms 1. The title of today's message is Blessed. We're going to go out in the new year, go out of this old year blessed and go into the new year blessed. Hallelujah. Amen, 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 and amen. Thank you so much, Sister Sandra, for leading us in that selection. Let us go now to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise you and we give you all the glory, all of the honor, and all of the praise. You're so worthy of it, dear Heavenly Father. You're awesome God, a wonderful God, a magnificent God. And Lord, we just say thank you right now. Thank you, first of all, and most importantly, for your darling son, Jesus Christ, who you gave uh, on the cross, that he might die for our sins and that you raised him from the dead. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for his sacrificial death that gave us life. For those of us that believe in him gave us eternal life. And we just thank you, dear Heavenly Father, right now in the name of Jesus. We ask you, dear Lord, as we continue to thank you. We thank you, Lord, for this year. We thank you, Lord, for all that has transpired from January 1 up until this point, dear Lord. We thank you for what you've done in us, through us, and for us. We thank you, dear Heavenly Father, for what, what you have done in, in such a marvelous and magnificent way in our lives, that we could be here at this moment, at this time, at this very moment, and we can say thank you, God. 
Sometimes the road was, was up and sometimes the road was down, but we are still in the journey. And Lord, we thank you that you are true to your word where you say you'll never leave us nor forsake us. So you have been there right there with us when we couldn't even carry ourselves to Heavenly Father. You carried us and we thank you this night, Lord. We thank you that you have been carrying us all the way. We love you, Lord, and we praise you. We we now, Lord, plead the blood of Jesus over this conference call. We plead the blood of Jesus over over, over the the uh, 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 God in the midst ministry, Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus over the Friday night lights broadcast that, and 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 the ministry that comes from it, dear Lord. We plead the blood right now, dear Heavenly Father, over this technology of Facebook and conference calls. And Lord, we plead your blood. We plead your blood over everybody that's listening right now and everybody that's going to listen later, God. We plead your blood to Heavenly Father because we know that there's power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, we thank you, Lord, for your blood. We thank you, Lord, for your blood that's covered us. Thank you, God. It's in the mighty and sufficient name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Welcome again, everybody, to the, the God in the Midst Get Them radio broadcast. This is the Friday Night Lights edition. And I am your host, Pastor Mark McCoy, along with Pastor Paul, who's going to come back on later. And uh, we, we're going to have him to sing uh, 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 a song at the end of the message. Uh, and, and we're going to leave it live and recording it because I, I, I want it to be recorded on, on, on Facebook as well as in the conference call. Well, tonight, tonight, we're going to look at this word. We'll look at this word from Psalms 1, Psalms 1. And, and Psalms 1, uh, we're going to give it a simple title. It's called Blessed. Blessed. Oh, hallelujah. I don't know about you. If I, I've looked back over my life, and all I could say is, this year, I have been blessed, and, and I, I've been blessed, and I'm looking forward to a blessed new year. Some some of you may say, well, 2017 has been a hard year. I've been through all kind of stuff. It didn't mess me up, but I'm, I'm here to tell you, you're alive right now. You, you're alive right now. You're breathing. You're able to give the Lord praise. I say to you, you are blessed. And that's what we're going to talk about, being blessed tonight. And, 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 and bless, being blessed is more than talking about our, our careers. Uh, you know, people talk about, well, I, I'm, I'm looking forward this year to my new career and, and God is going to help me with my business or help me with my job and all that. Yeah, yeah, that those are material blessings that, that we can look forward to. Some say, well, 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 this is going to be a year that I'm going to pay out all of my bills and I'm going to be debt free. Yes, that, that is being blessed, but, but, but God wants more than, 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 than your, your, your career to be right. He wants more than your credit to be right. God, he wants your character to be right. Oh, hallelujah. And that's what this is all about. Having the character of someone who is blessed. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm blessed because the God that I serve has worked in me both to will and to do according to his good pleasure. I'm blessed because the God that I serve is working on my behalf behind the scenes doing things for me, with me, in me, and through me. That's because that makes me blessed. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I got to slow down. Let me give me a little drink of water. Because see, when you're blessed, even water tastes like wine. Uh, <laughs> I had to get, throw that joke in there. Hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm. So let's begin reading our scripture. Let's begin reading our scripture. I'm reading from the New King James Version of the Bible. Uh, you are probably well familiar with Psalm 1. One of the things that I was trained to do early on in the ministry is to 
is to uh, uh, read five Psalms a day and read one chapter of Proverbs a day. So I, 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 I'm quite sure many of you probably do some of the same kind of uh, exercise of, of reading God's word because you, you need to study it. And so Psalm 1 is one of them Psalms that you get to and you, you read it and you think about it. And I'm reading from a New King James Version of the Bible. Listen to it. Blessed is the man. And, and, and some translation says the person, because it's both men and women. And blessed is the man who walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law, he meditates day and night. We're going to stop right there. We're going to stop right there. We're going to go on to the rest of it. I just want to stop right there. Those two verses talking about being blessed. Well, what, what does blessed mean? What does blessed mean? Well, when you're blessed, it means that you're happy, that you're fortunate, that you're prospering. Uh, 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 and, 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 and a matter of fact, when you're blessed, other folks even envy you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been wondering, you've been wondering all year long, why folks are always coming up against me? Why do it look like folks are always bothering me? Because they're envious, they're jealous. As, as the kids might say, they are just haters. And, and you ought to be able to appreciate your haters. Because you are blessed. If you wasn't blessed, you would have no haters. When you see people homeless on the streets and going through all, ain't nobody envious of that. But when you're blessed, when you got it going on, when God has blessed you with all that you need, you are envied. So blessed means that you're happy that you're fortunate, that you're prospering. And, and, and God's favor is upon you. Now, now, now I got I got I gotta say this. I gotta say this. It, it's not because of your behavior. Oh no, it's not because of my behavior. Like I've been all good and all that. It's because of God's amazing grace that we are blessed. He has showered his favor upon us. Why? Because we believe in his darling son, Jesus Christ. That's what a blessed man does. A blessed man trusts in the Lord with all his heart and leans not unto his own understanding. But in all his ways, he acknowledges him because when he does that, God says, I will direct your path. Oh, hallelujah. And the path of the righteous is so wonderful. And so that's the blessed man. And then you have another person. That's the ungodly man. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Two kind of people. Godly people and ungodly people. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. Two kind of people. Godly people and ungodly. And these two kind of people have two different paths and, 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 and their paths end two different ways. Let's talk about this ungodly man because I want I want to do the, 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 the negative first. This this ungodly man, listen to it. Listen to it now. Verse 1 and 2, it talked about the blessed man, and I'm going to come back to him. But, but, but the ungodly man, it says down in verse 4, the ungodly are not so. What you mean they're not so? It says, but are like the chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For God knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. So, so, so the ungodly people 
uh, 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 people who are on a path that everything they're doing is just going to be blown away in the wind. And then when, 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 when their life is over, they're going to perish. Oh, mercy. I don't want to be part of the ungodly. I, 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 I don't want to, 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 to be judged and, and perish. I don't want to be part of the wicked, those who disobey and live without God. I, I don't want to be part of that because when you're blown away like the chaff, you're worthless, dead, without substance, and, and the wind just blows you away. So that's the ungodly. I don't want to be like that. But the other person, that's who I want to be like. I want to be the blessed man. I want to be the godly. So now I'm going to go all the way back up to the top. And we're going to talk about the path and the purpose of the godly person. Listen to the text again. Bless is the man who walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. Yeah, yeah. When, when you're blessed, when you're a godly person, you, 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 you don't follow the advice and the plans and the purpose of the ungodly. That means you don't sit around listening to their mess. Talking about life is luck. I'm, I must be lucky. No, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. Oh, this fate, fate controls everything. I, I don't worry about fate, not fate, fate. Fate don't control nothing in my life. It is God that's working on my behalf. Talking about, oh, karma going to come back and get you. I don't worry about no karma. I know what the word of God says. You reap what you sow. And so if I reap godly, I'm going to sow godly. If I reap ungodly, I'm going to sow ungodly. That's that, 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 well, flipping that thing around. If I sow ungodly, I will reap ungodly. If I sow godly, I will reap godly. Oh, hallelujah. So, so, so I don't have to sit around listening to the way they want to do things. Nor sit in the seat of the scornful. I, 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 I don't have to sit around with that mess. I don't, I don't have, to, have to listen to them mocking people. I just pray for folks. Oh, yeah, I, I got some issues with some people. I got some issues with, with the way our country is being ran right now. I got some issues in the way the world is being ran right now. I got issues, but I know how to pray for my leaders. I know how to pray because God has the ability to, to, to control everybody that's in positions of power as well as those that are not. And he is doing it to bless us. How the blessings going to come? I don't know why the blessings going to come. I don't know. But I'm a blessed man. All year long, all year long, this, this has been that year where God has, has, has taken over in my life. I, I got to tell you about this. It's, 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 you know, I had all kind of plans for, 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 for 2017. My, my theme for 2017 was get ready, get set, and go for God. And then the prophet spoke over me and said, this is going to be a year where you're going to get pushed out of your comfort zone. And so when the year started, we, we had a wonderful time in one of the ministries, the jail ministry. I mean, we had all of these men came to Christ. We baptized about 11. At one time, it was awesome. I'm like, oh, God, this is going to be the year. This is going to be the year we're going to do this. And then all of a sudden, it looked like the well dried up. And I asked God, I said, God, what's going on? Why, 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 why this is happening? 
And he says, it's not time yet. And I'm like, okay. I don't understand, but I trust you. Oh, I'm talking to somebody right now. I don't understand, but I trust you. And then, I want to do this and I want to do that. He'll say, no, it's not time yet. And then, things that he wants me to do, he'll come back and say, it's time. And I, I follow his leadership. I follow the path that he wanted me to be on. Why? Listen to the text. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law, he meditates day and night. When, when we delight in the word of God, when we desire the law of God, when we listen to his word, his precepts and his instructions and the teaching of God, it becomes habitual. And we can meditate on it and we can ponder it and study it day and night. And when we do this, we'll hear from the Lord. And he'll tell us the path we ought to be leading. He'll tell us the direction we ought to be going. And, and, and that's the kind of year it's been. And I've been like, okay, God, I, I'm going to do this. And he says, not no time. It ain't, it ain't the time. It ain't the time. I, Lord, I want to do this right now. I said, no, it ain't the time. And then I said, why? And the answer comes back because I said it's simply not the time. <laughs> now some folks don't want to accept that but I've learned what God's words say his words say they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they will mount up with wings like eagles they will run and not be weary so I don't worry about nothing it's all in the hands of the Lord and when he says it's not time, it's not time. And when he says it is time, oh, I'm ready to roll. Because not only is this, this person, this person, this godly person on a path, listen to the path that he's on. It says he shall be like a tree. Verse 3 says, planted by the rivers of water that bring forth its fruit in its season. It's time, y'all. It's time, y'all. It's time. I, I'm getting excited because it's time. It's that season. Bring forth this fruit in its season. Who leaves shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get it? Did you hear it? We, 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 when you're blessed, when you're a blessed man, when you're a blessed woman, you're planted. You're planted like a tree, firmly planted. And not only are you planted, you are tended to. God takes care of you. Oh, hallelujah. And, and then he says it's, it, that, that, that the reason you know you're being taken care of because you're planted by the rivers of water. Oh, you're planted by streams of water. Oh, hallelujah. And it means that, that you're ready to bring forth some fruit in its season. Oh, hallelujah. God has a season, y'all. He has a season where he firmly plants us. He has a season where he tends to us. He has a season where we bring forth fruit. And so, going back to the beginning of the year, and I said, like the, like the ministry, the ministry at the jail was like, okay, God, ain't nobody coming. And, and I was like, what's going on? And then the few start trickling in. And we baptized them. And then I said, well, Lord, I don't understand. Right now, I, I know I know the country is going through a, a, a divisive era of, of, of people uh, pitting themselves against each other, you know. And it's like, God, but, but, but you didn't call me to a ministry where only people that look like me come to God. You called me to a ministry where, where everybody has the opportunity to come to God. Next thing I know, another trickle. 
another trickle. Then all of a sudden, looked like the dam had broken. Looked like the stream was flowing good because it was the season for it. And this, 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 this year has ended so wonderfully. August, September, November, December, we did baptize over 30 something men. And then, come 1st of January, we're going to baptize at this point at least 12 men. Oh, God is good, y'all. Because he will bring forth the fruit in his season. And not only does he bring forth the fruit in his season when he says it's time. It says when the when, whose leaves shall not perish or whose leaves shall not wither and whatever he does shall prosper. Oh, when you're blessed, the leaves on your tree will not fade or wither. It's wintertime all over the land. And I, I, if you've noticed like I do, you look outside and most of the trees don't have any leaves on it. All you see with leaves on it is the evergreens and, and those kind of trees. And, and uh, we have magnolia trees down here in the south and they got leaves on it. But you look at an oak tree or a maple tree, they don't have any leaves. But, 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 but God is saying that, that when you're blessed, you, you, you're going to have leaves like the magnolia trees. You're going to be an evergreen. Nothing is going to wither on you. And whatever you do will prosper. Oh, hallelujah. And this prospering, it's just not talking about, about financial prospering. But, but it's, it's talking about when you come into maturity. Yeah, like I said, this has been a year of 2017 where if you've been around me, you noticed that there's a certain amount of wisdom that has came over me. I mean, wisdom, not only to, 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 to have intellectual knowledge to know something, but to understand the seasons. When you're a blessed man, you understand when it's time and when it's not time. I, I, I'm harping on this because that's how God is leading. Many of us are operating out of season, even as godly people. Godly people, we have to operate in seasons. And when we operate in seasons, we will prosper. Oh, hallelujah. And so, the blessed man, his path and his purpose in life is to be persistent in what he does. He meditates on God's word day and night. He's praying, he's studying, he's persistent. And because of his persistence, his way, becomes prosperous. He's truly blessed. Oh, hallelujah. I hope you've enjoyed this message this evening on this Friday Night Lights program. And, and, and we're going to pray a prayer first as God is leading me to pray. God, we just come to you right now. Thanking you for painting this picture in our head about a prosperous, godly man and an ungodly, perishing man. We thank you, Lord, that, that we know you in the pardon of our sins, and we know that you're working behind the scenes on our behalf, and you're showing us your unmerited favor, your grace, and are blessing us. Help us, Lord, to continue as we end this year and go into the next. Continue to be persistent 
and following your path. Help us, Lord, to know what seasons to do things, whether we in season or out of season. Help us to stay in season with you. That whatever we do, we'll bring forth the fruit to your glory and to your honor. Thank you, Lord, for this picture. We ask you, Lord, to continue to bless us that we might prosper, that we might become children with wisdom and understanding and be able to walk in your path. We love you, Lord. We thank you and we praise you. In the mighty and sufficient name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And amen. Before I close this uh, session, um, we, like I said, I want to have Pastor Paul to come on and I'm going to unmute his line here in a minute. Um, but I want to pray the prayer of salvation before he sings. Pray with me now. Father God, I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that Jesus died for my sin and was buried and that you raised him from the dead. I repent of my sins. Please forgive me of my sins and come into my heart. I invite you, Jesus, become the Lord of my life to rule and to reign in my heart from this day forward. Please send your Holy Spirit to help me obey you and to do your will for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Pastor Paul, I'm going to unmute your line. And Hallelujah. And let you give us a selection. Amen. Amen. Can you hear me? Yes. Can you hear you well? Can you hear me? Yes. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. All right. All right. First off, I want to say give an honor to God, who is the guest of my life, to you, Pastor Mark. I thank you, God, and praise God for you. And you have, um, as you have been an encouraging, encouraging instrument, and through God, God through you has kept me and has kept me grounded in on many times where I was on my way to be a beauty. But I thank you, praise God, for you and all that are on the line, uh, making it through this week, this uh, next year, as we all have these changes that have changed into our life and, and things that have all of a sudden happened. Yet, even in all of the sudden situations that you said, God has still been in control of them all. So we thank God for that. If, if you don't mind, I want to just, because uh, as you were asking, I was sitting there like, Lord, what, 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 would I, what would I do? What would I think? And one of the things that came to mind is a song that my father, the Bishop Nathaniel McCoy, uh, would, sing, uh, would sing all the time. And I'm going to do this. I'm not sure if it's appropriate for this moment, but it's going to be appropriate for this moment. Amen. Amen. I'll go. I'll go. Send me, send me. Yes, Lord. Yes. 
Yes, Lord. Send me, send me, Lord. New year in this year and going to the new year, remember you can go because you're blessed, and God will bring fruit from you that will never wither and will always prosper because you're blessed to bless. Blessed to bless. Good night, Facebook. And if you want to join us on the conference call where we're going to talk about the lesson and pray with one another and, and get testimonies, you can join us at 619-639-4733. Again, 619-639-4733. Love you, Facebook. See you next year.